Hey everyone, it's Colin. Welcome back to the GIY Guy channel. Today we're doing a pretty exciting video. It is a DIY windowsill extension. So if you haven't been able to keep your green thumb alive this winter, hopefully this will give you a boost. It's also going to be huge as we start our seed sprouting indoors going into springtime. Now before we get into today's video, I wanna give a quick shout out to everyone who watches these videos, all the subscribers, likers, uh, all those people. I just really appreciate it. GIY guy just hit 140 subscribers this week, which is not huge, but it's a lot of fun. It just motivates me to keep creating content and just keep making gardening fun and sharing my ideas with you guys. Now let's get back to this windowsill extension idea. So if you're like me, you might not get a lot of great natural light. Uh, I have an east facing house, so I get great morning sun, but it doesn't really last throughout the day. And so what good natural light I get throughout the day is kind of confined to just the windowsill area. And unfortunately, as you can see, my windowsill is only about, uh, about three inches deep. And so that means I have to put these on the floor. <laughs> So this got me thinking, surely somebody has already solved this problem. Surely I'm not the first one to think that a windowsill extension would be a good idea for you know house plants or anything. But I went online and didn't find anything. All I found was three ideas on Etsy and two of them were clamping designs. And so it's basically this uh, long board that you put on your windowsill and it's got clamps screwed into the, the windowsill extension and then you tighten the clamps around your existing windowsill. Unfortunately, with the clamp design, that means you have to have something to clamp to, which I do not. I don't have any overhang on my windowsill. All I have is a half inch piece of trim um, that I just didn't think was gonna be strong enough to clamp to. So being that there was not a readily available purchasing option, I went ahead and designed one myself, and that's what I'm gonna show you in the next room. I'm gonna show you my prototype. Welcome to my windowsill extension prototype revision one. Um, it's actually got about six, pound, six or seven pounds worth of uh, stuff on it right now. I've had this sitting out for the last two or three days, and it's held up just fine. It shows I have a lot of faith in it because I've got a pot full of dirt here that did not fall. Um, but I've got two pound candle, two pound candle, maybe a, maybe a three or four pound planter here. And I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the actual structure of this because this prototype is what I'm gonna base the you know, the, the fancy thing off of. <laughs> so my goal with this shelf was not to put a 15 or 20 pound pot on it. Those can sit on the floor, but it was really just for, you know, decorations, candles, small plants, uh, especially as we get into springtime uh, or close, uh, just starting seedlings even on the windowsills, because again, this is my only source of natural light. And so I've kind of got to maximize it. So there we go. This is the Mark one prototype. It's kind of rough. It's just a scrap piece of a scrap piece of plywood. Um, but as I was designing this prototype, I thought, you know, if I could make this uh, adjustable in some way so it could fit, you know, anyone's windowsill, then I could, you know, list it on Etsy or something. Uh, it turns out wood is super expensive still. Uh, but anyway, I tried to make it adjustable. So I made these removable with just a little peg on them. And then I, uh, I drilled a bunch of holes in the sh bottom of the shelf so you can actually uh, adjust where you put this support peg. So depending on the depth of your windowsill, uh, you want this resting against the wall. And so it just needs to be a uh, different distance down the windowsill board. Unfortunately, I wasn't confident in the structural integrity of this. It's kind of kind of wobbly once you get in there and I just wasn't comfortable selling this or <laughs> marketing it to people. That's when I decided to just build my own custom shelves for myself and then you know share the plans with you guys, show you how to do it. And then if you have any questions, then I'd be happy to answer those in the comments below. So there's a few improvements I'm gonna make from this design. Uh, the first one is that instead of 3M strips, which do not stick to wood very well, I'm actually gonna use Velcro strip. And so I'm gonna put one half of the sticky Velcro on the windowsill. And then on the bottom here, along this back edge, I'm going to put the other half, but I'm gonna have to glue it so it actually adheres to the wood uh, really well. So that will keep the, the windowsill from sliding forward. So that's the first improvement. The second improvement is to make this a lot sturdier. Right now it's pretty wobbly, so I'm gonna just take a screw and screw this directly into the bottom of the windowsill extension. Before I get into the actual build, I wanna go through the materials list so you can build this with me if you'd like. So first off is the most important, that is your windowsill board. Uh, you can spend a lot of money on nice wood. I decided to go with a cheaper pine board and we're actually gonna stain it. Uh, but this is one inch thick pine eight inches wide, and then I think it was a 10 foot board, but obviously uh, you'll have to cut it down. And I had to have them cut it in half so it would fit in my car. <laughs> so there's the board you need. You can use pine, red oak, white oak, walnut, whatever you'd like, whatever your budget allows. I think an eight or 10 foot pine board at Lowe's like this costs about 25 bucks. Uh, the next crucial item you will need is Velcro. So I got Velcro brand Velcro um, because 
they invented it, so why not? <laughs> this is one roll, four feet long, two inches wide. It's got a sticky peel off back. Um, I'm also gonna have to glue it to the wood since the sticky probably won't stick to the wood, but we can try. This should stick to the windowsill without having to glue it to the windowsill because this command strip stuck on there pretty well. And then since I didn't have any really good glue, I had liquid nails, but I hate opening a whole tube of that just to use it a little bit. Uh, so I went ahead and finally bought some Gorilla Glue. This is just um, everything glue, it's not wood glue. Um, make sure you get everything, it'll probably stick to the, the Velcro a lot better, but this is to glue the Velcro to the wooden board. Next thing I got was a couple packs of screws. I've got five eighths inch and one inch screws. These are going to be used to screw the, um, the supports into this board here. So instead of using the peg, we're gonna be using screws. That way it's a lot sturdier. Last thing I got was a can of True Black stain and a couple brushes. This was about 16 bucks. So I am gonna stain the one in the office black. I'm actually not gonna stain this one black. Just, we don't really know what kind of color scheme we're going for in here yet. So we're gonna hold off on making that decision. But you can use whatever coating you want on your wood. You can paint it, you can stain it. Uh, you can even leave it natural, although I would recommend putting some sort of protective coating on it, maybe even just linseed oil, or you could um, maybe just do like a matte or a satin polyurethane. That would look really nice, but something to keep water from absorbing into the wood. Because if you just leave uh, a pine board like this, uh, you might get water rings if, you're, if you don't have like the little, um, wow, coasters? <laughs> Are they plant coasters? I don't know. Uh, but like for the bottom of your planters, um, but if you get water rings, it's probably gonna stain something uh, that's unfinished like that. Well, that's all I've got for the prep work and most of the talking in this video. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Helps out the channel and it makes me uh, motivated to make more content for you guys. I'm gonna go out to the garage. I'm gonna go ahead and build this thing and then we'll bring it inside. I'll show you a time lapse of the build and then we'll bring it inside and mount it to the windowsill. And so then you'll get to see the finished product. Other than that, keep growing yourself and I'll catch you in the next one.